guys and welcome to my kind of a new segment, a new series that I'm going to start this year and it's called the Artbox Spotlight. So I know a lot of people have been asking for tutorials and I'm going to work to provide that but I also wanted to give the viewers kind of a glimpse into what sort of art books are really useful for them because they have been useful for me from my experience and these books tend to get a bit pricey so I know some people want to be sure that the book is good for them before they actually buy something or else they just waste money. So this series is going to be uploaded either monthly or every other month depending on the when I can buy art books it all depends on the money. And of course, you can support me by watching my videos and by watching the ads on my videos because that helps me get more revenue from YouTube. And I'm going to be covering different books across this series. Some of these books will be general for drawing only. And oh, I'm sorry, there's a truck passing by, so if you're ambient sound. So sometimes I'm going to cover books for digital painting, like this one, the first book, and then. In the next videos, I'll be covering videos for drawing, anatomy, and traditional art like watercolor. So it's going to be a really exciting series. So the book I'm going to cover today is called Digital Painting Techniques Volume 7. This is actually an ongoing series. I think it's been going for 5 or 7 years. It's published by 3D Total Publishing, which is a company that first used to be just a resource for like 3D stuff. But then it grew bigger. And I'm going to include the link down below in the description to Amazon about this product. So if you're living in the US, you can order it from there. For Philippine residents, I think you can find these at Fully Book Branches. That's where I got mine. And let's look at the back. So there's a lot of really inspiring art from the masters. And then, so this is the seventh volume. And there's a lot of, there's a variety of artists featured. And they go into their process about how to make vehicles, environments, pinups, and a lot of other stuff. And the main medium that they use is Photoshop. So it's just a heads up if you use other software. Although you can also use the principles. It's just that if you use Photoshop, this will be really beneficial to you. And so it's 288 pages. It's really thick. A lot of stuff in it. And if you look at the inside, there's a bit of forward and the first page. And I'm going to show some excerpts of the book. Although, of course, you know, you gotta buy it to see everything. It's a really nice book. So, the table of contents, you will see that... Let's try to zoom it in a bit. Okay, it's not that super zoomed in, but here you can see there's a segment on vehicles, stylized female characters, pinup girls, speed painting techniques, mythological creatures, matte painting techniques, and environments. So you're getting a lot of topics for your money. And there's also a gallery at the end just for the inspirational art to get you started and to see what kind of styles you like. There's a lot of really nice art in this book. And here, you can see that the first half is the vehicles and they will include uh, really detailed write-ups about their processes as well as images to go along with it. Wait, let us zoom, as, zoom that out a bit so we can see. Yeah, so there's really detailed write-ups and then there's photos for the processes with an explanation so you won't get confused. And this book doesn't, isn't just like a tutorial book that teaches you how to paint. Yeah, they actually go into their process first, like what tools they use and then how they do it. A lot of these artists actually focus on the sketches a lot. The sketches, the design, the values, and then the actual painting isn't as long. Composition, because those are the really important elements. And if you have your base drawings really good first, then the painting takes less time. Of course, there's still the tutorials like these ones, like the color picker, and there's also tips like what layers to use and what tools, and mixing colors, and stuff about the foreground, midground, and background. It's just really detailed and it really helps you learn a lot. 
when you read about these because you're not just learning how to do something but you're learning why they do something and there's always a picture of how the finished product looks at the end of everything so you can look at it and then you can look back and check how they did it and then you can also try it for yourself so there's more about vehicles and then yeah there's actually a lot about vehicles i think it's 60 65 pages and then there's a segment on stylized female characters which i think will be useful to a lot of people because they tend to draw a lot of females or humans more so as you can see here there's stuff there's information at the start about how he managed to conceptualize this art before moving on to the actual coloring process and the final product and not all of the artists here have the same process which is really fascinating because you can kind of try everything and see what works for you so if you prefer to do a really detailed sketch or if you just prefer to rough it out and you know this one is kind of more stylized and cartoony well this one is really realistic and kind of oil painter like oil painterly like there's also different brushes and as you can see here there's free resources actually a link here so I haven't tried looking at it yet, but that's added value for your money because you get a book and you get free resources. And then there's also, yeah, there's also a short manga segment. And then there's stuff about pinup girls, which is female characters too, but you know, kind of like they're more sophisticated. It's just on their own. So there's a lot of tutorials and even the cover art itself of the book, even this one too, has its own segment. Really nice if you want to study how they made it. How they started out with thumbnails first and then they moved on to the actual process. So there's stuff about speed painting which is really useful. If you want to do, if you want to rough it out like really quick thumbnails. Or if you just want to get a feel for the scene you want to paint because it allows you to quickly adjust things. And then that's a really short segment but it's full of helpful tips. And then there's a segment on mythological creatures. And here, a shout out to Filipinos, there's a segment on how to create a Filipino witch. In this process. And then there's a Greek monster. There's also matte painting techniques. These kind of focus more on having a reference photo and then just painting over it. Useful if you want to create backgrounds quickly. And there's also a segment on environments, which is useful if you want to paint backgrounds. So there's tips about studying photos and breaking down shapes and how to like studying about composition of different buildings before you actually get started. Just a lot of environment. And at the end, here's the image gallery. So some of the images shown. Really nice stuff. Yeah, and then there's an index if you want to quickly look for something useful. And there's a bio of all of the artists. And a lot of 3D Total's other books. They also have sketching from the imagination and the other digital painting techniques books in the series. Their other books look really good. So if I acquire any of these later and I really like them, I might feature them in a future video. So why is this book really good? It's really good because it, it doesn't just teach you how to do something, but it teaches the why and the conceptualization before the actual execution. And it shows a lot of artists' processes and how they conceptualize because each artist has a different process. And it's really useful for you to just learn about everybody and adjust their methods to your preference. It also has insight about Photoshop tools and shortcuts. Those are always helpful. It's very descriptive. As you can see, there's a lot of text. Like, every step, they always thoroughly describe how they did something. 
and the series has many volumes. I think this is the 7th volume, so there are 6 other books in the series, and I'm not sure if there's a 7th book already. But some things to note about this book is that Photoshop is its main program. I think it's the only program that's covered, actually. So if you use other programs, you can you can still use the techniques that was discussed here, but a lot of the shortcuts will really benefit Photoshop users. So if Photoshop is your main medium, this is a huge plus. And this book is kind of more advanced. It won't really teach you how to draw something. It just teaches the conceptualization and how to arrive at the scene. So this book is kind of useful if you already have drawing knowledge. It will not teach you how to draw. And it's fo really focused on digital painting, so there's nothing about traditional painting here. But that said, this book is still a really good book. There's a lot of stuff about process, and it's really useful if you're a digital artist. So I recommend picking this book up and some of the other books in its series too. I think those have different content. Yeah, so this has been the first art book spotlight and if you're looking forward to more of these, show some love to the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel. I do 